Hitler was doing his job, then maybe he'd learn something. Question number five, Todd Muller. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question's to the Minister for Social Development and asks, what update can she provide on the government's support for those affected by the flooding in Edgecombe uh, and the Bay of Plenty? Mr. The Speaker. Honourable Anne Tolley. Mr Speaker, after the cyclones and flooding in Edgecombe and the Bay of Plenty, the government classified a medium-scale adverse event, and we've been working with councils, businesses, NGOs and iwi to restore and enhance the affected communities. Together, central and local government have invested nearly $15 million to support the recovery effort, including $1 million for enhanced task force green teams to clear debris from properties, parks and reserves in Edgecombe, Whakatane, Taniatua, Rurutoki and other affected areas. MSD has made around 3,000 civil defence payments, totalling over $850,000 to help people with food, clothing and bedding. We are committed to making sure the Bay of Plenty, Whakatane District and Edgecombe community have the support they need to recover. Mm. Supplementary. Right. Supplementary question, Todd Muller. Uh, to the Minister, what other support is the Government offering to the people of Edgecombe who have been displaced as a result of the flooding? The Honourable Anne Tolley. Mr Speaker, we're offering psychological support to people affected by the flood and wraparound services to help them cope with the challenges they face. Along with Building and Construction Minister Dr Nick Smith, I announced that the government was activating a temporary accommodation service to assist Edgecombe residents. MB is managing requests for temporary accommodation and is providing porter cabins and temporary homes. And TPK and MB are working with Iwi on a new Māori housing development that will provide five two-bedroom houses and infrastructure for 41 housing sites at Kokohino Marae. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Todd Muller. Uh, to the Minister, has the government announced any other relief measures for the people and businesses affected? Mr Speaker. Yeah. Honourable Anne Tolley. Along with Revenue Minister Judy with Collins, the decision was made that Inland Revenue will waive late payment fees and penalties where the flooding has prevented people from paying on time. We have contributed close to $1.2 million in support for farmers, growers and businesses affected by the flooding through funds such as the Rural Assistance Payments, the Rural Support Trust and a Disaster Relief Fund. Earlier this month, Minister Guy and I announced a further $100,000 for the Primary Industries Flood Recovery Fund for farmers to help with clean-up and recovery. This is a government that's there to help farmers, not hurt them, and recognises their valuable contribution to the New Zealand economy. Yeah, very good. Question number six, Keldon Davis. Mr Speaker. To the Minister for...